Hello students. Today we will be learning the chapter How stories came about. As usual the reading will go on and I will explain to you line by line. First of all let us see this thing over here. Zulus are people who live in Africa. Now what do you mean by Zulus? I'll give you a local example. You all must be knowing what is Adivasi. And many of you students also are Adivasis, right? That means you are a kind of tribe. We have the word tribe over here. That means people living in one place. So in the same way, how we have Adivasis in Silvasa? In Africa, they have Zulu tribe. Okay, so we will begin with the reading and with the explanation. Let's read. A very long time ago, there lived a woman named Manza and her husband Zen. This is very simple to understand. You have to remember the names because throughout the lesson we won't be using the word woman and the word husband. So you have to remember the wife's name was Manza and the husband's name was Zen. They belonged to the Zulu tribe from Africa. They lived happily with their children. Up till this line, I guess there is no doubt for any of you. It is very simple. They spent most of their time looking after their fields, weaving baskets or hunting. As in a local example, many of the people living in Silvasa also look after their fields in the same way Mansa and Zen also used to look after their fields they used to weave baskets now what is the meaning of the word weaving let me show you an image if you studied the meanings carefully you must have seen that they were pointing out to this thing as you can see it is all zigzag it is crisscrossed see these are straight and these are coming this way so these are all crisscrossed this is called weaving and this is weaving of baskets and you know the meaning of hunting that is shikar in Hindi killing animals watching huge birds catch fish or the crabs that came scampering to the shores watching huge birds catch fish let me show you another image now there are several examples of several birds who catch fish i am giving you this image just for your understanding okay so what they did was they spent most of their time looking after their fields weaving baskets or hunting watching watching means they used to see watching huge birds catch fish or the crabs you know what is a crab right that came scampering the meaning of scampering is you must have seen on the seashores how crabs walk they don't walk normally it is sort of running for them they run speedily to the shores shores means kinara what we say in hindi zen was very good at carving and painting Zen is this person, husband of Manza, was very good at carving. What do you mean by carving? It is this. These people are called sculptors. You can see he is using like a blade and he has many blades also over here, different sizes of blades. They make designs on wood, on stones or whatever things they can. He would often carve things which he saw around on old tree stumps or stones. He would often carve things which he saw around on old tree stumps. That means for example, you can see flowers over here, right? Here there are two flowers, here there are mushrooms. Just for your example, suppose Zen sees this flowers. So what he will do is, he will use this piece of wood and he will carve flowers on this. 
that means he will use his knife to make designs of flowers on this thing what do you mean by tree stumps i'll show you another example over here see this is the ending part this is the root portion of a tree now when a tree is cut you must be knowing that we can't cut this portion because this is very hard and it is not easy to remove it from the ground so what zen would do is he would use this kind of stump to make sculptures as you can see when here there is a sculpture in this stump okay so this is what zen used to do he would carve beautiful birds and animals as toys for children what he would do was he would use pieces of wood to carve beautiful birds and animals and even they had children so he would give these toys to his children by evening manza loved to tell stories to her children this was a speciality of the olden days even when i was small we used to love to hear stories maybe nowadays that's not going on that much but in the olden days children used to love stories that would be told by their parents or grandparents so in the evening time manza that means the mother of these children loved to tell stories but soon she ran out of stories ran out means not bhag ke gayi okay ran out means running short that means stories had gone less she was not having any stories to tell the children zen suggested that manza should go in search of stories and he would look after the children and the house zen that means the husband told the wife that she should go in search of stories and he would look after the children look after means dekhbhal rakhna and the house she agreed and said goodbye to her children agreed means what unhone maan liya she agreed and said goodbye why did she say goodbye because she had to go in search of stories okay Manza saw Nadi the kind elephant Oh Nadi can you please help me Now who spoke this sentence Manza okay and what is the name of an elephant that we get to know is Nadi So this is Manza okay Manza goes to this elephant and she says can you please help me Nadi was kind and wanted to help her She said, "I shall take you to Slander, the turtle who can help you. Come with me." Okay, you can see in the image right here. This elephant's name is Nadi. Here is Manza taking help from the elephant, and the elephant is a female elephant. How do we know that? Because it is mentioned over here. she said she means it is female she said i shall take you to slander the turtle what do you mean by turtle turtle in hindi what we say is kachua who can help you come with me they walked up to the tugela river nadi called out to her friend slander nadi means the elephant called out what do you mean by called out in hindi how we say awaaz lagana that means to call someone called out to her friend slander that means the turtle the big sea turtle oh slander please help monza to find some stories from the land of the oceans and sea you know the meaning of land right now why did the elephant tell the turtle to help manza find stories from the land of the oceans and seas because you know the meaning of oceans and seas is water but we live on land so why would this lady want to know about oceans and seas we will get to know that further 
Slander agreed and took Monza to the bottom of the deep sea. Slander agreed. Agreed means उन्होंने मान लिया and took Monza to the bottom of the deep sea. The turtle took Monza to the bottom of the deep sea. Now you must be thinking, how did the lady go into the deep sea? You must remember one thing that this is also a story. That means it is not a real story. Now, if you know that a person has gone under water, it is not a true thing. It is a story. Monza saw a king and a queen seated on a dazzling throne. Now, going into the deep sea, Monza saw a king and queen seated on a dazzling. Dazzling means something which shines very brightly. For example, I'll give you necklace. A necklace is something which dazzles. So we will call it as a dazzling necklace. In the same way, the throne was a dazzling throne. Throne in Hindi we call it as sihasan, the big chair where kings and queens sit. Right? What do you want from us? Lady from the land of humans, Manza told them of her wish to take stories for her children. Okay, now who said this line? What do you want from us, Lady from the land of humans? This was said by the king and queen. They said this line to Manza, and what did she tell them? She told them of her wish to take stories for her children. Yes, they said. We have many stories, but what will you give us in exchange for those stories, Manza? They said that yes, they have stories, but then they also wanted something in exchange. Exchange means what? आप हमें कुछ दोगे, हम आपको कुछ देंगे. It was that way. Or you can also say in this case over here. That हम अगर आपको कुछ देंगे तो उसके बदले में आप हमें क्या दोगे? What do you wish? Manza asked. Can you give us a picture of your land and its people and things which exist there? The king and queen asked Manza for a picture of land and its people and things. This means that the king and queen also used to live in the water, and they wanted to know what is happening on the land. How do human beings look like? What do they do? Meaning of exist means it is there. Things which are there. We are eager to see your land, but cannot go. Eager means in Hindi we say utsuk. Waiting a lot. We are eager to see your land, but cannot go. But you can help us if you bring a picture to us. Oh yes, Manza answered. I can bring that. Thank you. So Manza went back to the shore with slander. Okay, from year till year, it is very easy to understand. Very simple conversation. So Manza went back to the shore with slander. What do you mean by shore? It is Nadi Kinare, okay? She thanked him and asked him to return on the next full moon. She thanked him. Who is she? It is this person, Manza. She thanked him. Now, who is him? It is this turtle, and asked him to return on the next full moon. Now, she could have told the turtle that you come back on. Monday, you come back on Tuesday. You come back in this month. You come back on this date. But why did she say next full moon? Because since it is a story, and you can know that this story is of the olden days. Those days they did not have watches, so they would know the time using the sun and the moon. Next full moon. That means it would be around one month time. She told her family about her journey, and then happily agreed to carve and paint pictures of their land for the king and the queen. 
Now when she came back, she told her family about her journey. Journey means suffer. How she had gone to the elephant. How the elephant asked help from the turtle, and how the turtle helped Mansa. So she told about the whole journey, and Zen happily agreed. He was ready to carve. I already told you the meaning of carve. and paint pictures of their land for these two people as you can see here there are the king and queen soon it was full moon again that means nearly one month had already passed and now was the time to give the carvings and paintings zen had finished his gifts manza tied all the gifts together on her back and rode on slander's back down under the sea what is the meaning of road it is a past tense of ride that means suffer kiya a bit different from journey i can't explain to you the exact translation in hindi but just imagine manza sitting on the back of the turtle and coming from top till here okay so that is what happened she tied all the gifts now which gifts the gifts that zen had prepared she kept it on her back and rode on slander's back down under the sea the king and queen were thrilled to see the gifts the meaning of thrilled is very happy or very excited now why were they so happy to see the gifts because they were living under water and they wanted to know what is happening outside of the water how the people look like how the land looks like okay what a beautiful land you have and how beautiful are your creatures now the king and queen say that they have a beautiful land and they have beautiful creatures what do you mean by creatures it is all the living things okay for example we are creatures animals are creatures birds also are creatures but we won't talk about plants over here okay only us and animals how beautifully your husband zen has carved them now here are our gifts for you now you can see in this part the exchange has started exchange that means हमने अब हमने आपको मदद करने के लिए हाँ किया अभी हम आपको मदद करेंगे नाउ हाउ डिड दे हेल्प देम नाउ हियर आर आर गिफ्ट्स आर मीन्स गिफ्ट्स फ्रॉम द किंग एंड द क्वीन फॉर यू हु इज यू मानसा दे गिव हर अ नेकलेस कर्व्ड फ्रॉम द बेस्ट शेल्स फॉर जेन नाउ व्हाट वाज द गिफ्ट दैट दे गिव देम them means it would be for zen for mansa and for their children also they gave her a necklace carved from the best shells i'll show you an example of a necklace that is made out of shells you must have seen these things on the seashore also right we get shells usually from snails you must have seen all these on the seashore So people also make necklaces out of shells. This is not the original image, but I'm just showing it to you for explanation. For you and your children, they said, we are giving you the gift of stories. And they handed her the largest and the most beautiful shell she had ever seen. They gave the gifts all together for the family of Zen and Mansa. Now, what gifts were given to whom? Let us see. Necklace was was for whom? It was for Zen, for you and your children. That means for Mansa and for her children. We are giving you the gift of stories. Now, see, Zen prepared some paintings and carvings, and in return, what did he get? He got a necklace from the best shells. And what did Mansa get? she got gift of stories and they handed her handed her means they gave her the largest and the most beautiful shell 
whenever you want a story, they said, just hold this shell to your ear and you will have your tale. Now the king and queen told Manza that whenever she wants a story, she just had to hold the shell to her ear. Now what do you understand from this line is, she had to take a kind of shell, okay, I'm just giving you the same example. Suppose this would be the shell, when Manza wanted a story, she would have to hold the shell close to her ear and she could hear a story from inside of the shell, okay. Manza thanked them for their kindness and headed back to her own world. You know the meaning of kindness, right? So Manza thanked them for their kindness. They were kind to Manza because they helped her. And she headed back. Headed back means went back to her own world. What do you mean by own world? That is land. Because she had gone inside the water and now she has to come back to her own world. She thanked Nadi and Slander for helping her. Once again, let me tell you, this is the name of the elephant and this is the name of the turtle, Nadi and Slender. And she thanked both of them for helping her. When she reached home, she saw her family and all the people of her village waiting to welcome her. In olden days, this used to happen a lot, you know, when parents or any relatives used to go very far from them. All the family members would wait for that person. As you can see over here, when she reached home, she saw her family and all the people of her village. That means it was not only the family but family and also all the people of her village. That means there was a big crowd waiting to welcome her. Every evening, all the village folk also gathered to listen to her stories from the shell. Village folk means folk, the meaning of folk is people. Every evening all the village folk gathered. Gathered that means Vahapal Jama Hoe. For what? To listen to her stories from the shell. The stories never got over. And that is how many stories came to be. As you can see in this image also, the other people of the village also came to listen to her stories. And what they say over here is, the stories never got over. That means, whenever Mansa would use a shell, she would always get a story to tell these people. And that is how many stories came to be. The meaning of came to be is, exist or Hona. This is how so many stories were formed also you can say. So that was the explanation of this lesson. Once again I am telling you, if you did not understand anything, go back to that part in the video and you can watch it again. Thank you students.